Hey everyone, welcome to another interesting Tosca lesson. In this session, I'm going to talk about how you can compare two PDF files using a T-Box module. So you don't need to write any particular test cases or uh, you don't need to create any modules. A module is already provided uh, in the standard subset, which can be used to compare two PDF files. Okay, so I've created uh, already a test case folder called PDF comparison. For this comparison, I'm going to use two PDF files. These are not exactly same. There is some difference in both the files, right? So if you are going to compare these two files, uh, you will see that uh, the test case will fail if you have provided 100% accuracy. Now we'll talk about that uh, when we open the module, but just looking at the PDF file, so it's a PDF file which is generated uh, in one of the sample applications, which is the vehicle insurance application. So it looks like that. So it looks like this. Uh, it has just got one page, okay? But you can also compare multiple uh, pages uh, in your PDFs, okay? Okay, um, so let's go ahead and uh, add our module now, okay? so. Let me add a test case here, and I'm going to call it compare PDF. And then let's search for this compare PDF. So when you type compare, the first option is one is to one compare. Now we have already seen some of the other T-Box modules like file compare. You can also compare images, right? And also a Excel file. So uh, when you use this one-to-one -one compare, Okay, uh, we need to provide the reference and the target PDF. So reference PDF uh, is the PDF which will act as a reference for the comparison. And the target would be uh, the PDF which you want to compare this reference PDF with, okay? We can also, uh, if, if your PDF is password protected, you can also specify the password here and Tosca will automatically enter that password while comparing the PDF. Okay, same for target PDF. Now I was talking about uh, the accuracy, which is in percentage. Okay, so uh, we can define our own accuracy. So it's basically the percentage of uh, accuracy which you want for your comparison. Okay, uh, you can specify 100% accuracy, which means both the PDFs should be exactly same. You can also decrease the accuracy if you are not worried about uh, so much about uh, some of the things in the PDF, which may not be same. So it uh, depends on uh, what kind of accuracy you require for this comparison, okay? And then excluded pages. So here you can specify which pages you want to exclude uh, from the comparison. So if you have got multiple pages in your PDF files, you can exclude some of the pages from the comparison, okay? So uh, we have to provide a reference PDF, as I said. Okay, so this is the path of the file which you want to compare. So let's provide that. Okay, and don't uh, forget to also provide the extension, which is .pdf. Uh, we don't require a password for this. And let's copy this for the reference and we'll just change the name here to code two, okay? I will just correct the name here to code underscore two. And then uh, you need to specify our accuracy. So first of all, I'll provide 80% accuracy, okay? And excluded pages, um, although I don't have multiple pages in my PDF, but if you have, then uh, you can provide uh, some values like this, okay? So what this will do is uh, you can provide multiple uh, page pages which you want to exclude. So in this case, it will exclude uh, the first page, the three to four page and the five page, okay? So it has to be separated by a semicolon. Uh, you can also um, combine your pages, like uh, a range, like this page to this page you want to exclude, okay? Or individual pages, depends on you. 
So this is how you can exclude your PDF pages from comparison. Uh, and these are the module attributes which you need to pass, okay? Now, if I go ahead and compare or run this particular test case, you will see that uh, this test case will pass even though the PDF files are different, okay? Uh, the reason being uh, the accuracy percentage, okay? Since the accuracy percentage is 80%, okay, so in the results you can see uh, in log info that it will say uh, that the success condition was met and that is why this test case passed. So each page of the target and the baseline document is at least 80% uh, match, okay? And we have not, uh, we have no pages excluded from the comparison, okay? Now, uh, to just to change it, if I provide 100% accuracy, okay? You want your comparison to be 100% accurate for both the PDFs, and that's a fair, uh, fair way of doing it, right? So just run, and this time it should fail. Okay, because both the PDFs are not 100% same. Okay, and uh, in the compare results in log info, you will see that uh, it will show you the differences. Okay, so at least one difference was detected. And uh, in the top left area, top right, mid left, mid right, and bottom right area. Okay, obviously, it will not uh, exactly tell you what is different in this particular pages but it's basically uh, used for quick comparison of two PDF documents. If you want to verify uh, certain elements on the PDF, then you need to use or you need to create your own test case and then you need to use the PDF scan. Okay, we'll see that uh, in some of the coming up session, but using the PDF scan, then you can scan particular elements and you can verify whether they are same on the PDF or not. But this uh, module is meant for a quick comparison uh, with a certain accuracy, and you can also exclude pages. So quite a useful module if you just want to compare to PDFs, okay? So that's, that's all about uh, how you can compare to PDF files uh, using this one is to one compare T-Box module. In the next session, uh, we'll talk about the PDF scan, how you can scan different elements in the PDF and how you can verify their values.